Hello and welcome friends you are watching Style Wrap as my tagline perfectly says handmade spreads happiness so today we have someone else to spread happiness around us yes someone else it's not me it's my daughter today there was a small event of grandparents day in her school so she decided to make a beautiful card for her grandparents and so she wanted to share this with you all hopefully you like this Now handing over my camera setup to her you are gonna hear from Akansha now Hello everyone I have learned some tips and tricks of card making from my mom Today I am going to share this with you all This is the card which we are going to make so let us start I have taken a card panel of 5 by 6 inches this is oxide inks and my sponge daubers I have taken three light shades so that my card looks vibrant. Here I have taken the stencil from Brand Icraft. Let us first stick it with the paper tape so that it does not move. Now the other stencil again from the same brand. Placing it down here and again sticking it with the paper tape. Here I start coloring the card panel using the daubers. I am using two different shades alternately. Now I am using the third shade to do stenciling over here. Again placing my previous stencil down here. Coloring the same exactly as I did before. I'm making sure that I don't overlap the floral stencil. See this is how I created the background of my card panel. Next, this is the coat which I asked my father to get the print out. Once I got the print out, I have cut them into small strips. Now I will add a strip of black cardstock behind it to create the thickness and depth. See this is how it looks. Now I will show you how to distress the edges of the card panel. Hold your scissors as shown in the video and start distressing the panels like this. This will create a beautiful distressed look to your card. Keep a control over your hand and make sure that you do not tear the page. Do this from all four sides. Now I will distress the edges from the darker color among all three shades we used earlier. It gives a wonderful effect to your card. Now I am sticking these sentiments to the card using 3D tapes. This completes the card panel. Next, I have already prepared the card base where I am going to stick the card panel. While creating card bases, always keep in mind that your card base be a little bigger than your card panel so that a small border can be formed around. You can also use a foam tape to give a 3D look to your card. So this completes the card. Hope you enjoyed watching this. If yes, don't forget to give a thumbs up to my video. Like, share, subscribe. See you soon.